Hello everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the nerves of the parapharyngeal space. Now this might seem a complicated topic, but it is not. It's a very short topic where we're going to be describing some of these nerves that you see here or most of these nerves that you find on this image. Now we're looking at the posterior view of the neck. We stripped a lot of structures. We even made a cut here on the skull as you can see to then be exposing the different pharyngeal muscles from a posterior view. You also see here a bit of the esophagus. Notice the thyroid gland, the sternocleidomastoid muscles, you even see here, as I mentioned, uh, the skull with the two mastoid processes. And you also see here the red and a blue structures which show the very important blood vessels of the neck for a bit of orientation here. And then all of these yellow structures are the different nerves that we're going to be describing. And keep in mind that just for a bit of location, we see here the internal jugular veins and also the common carotid arteries. Notice uh, the aortic arch here and how all these nerves are then related to these structures. Now on this image, we're going to be able to describe four cranial nerves, including the glossopharyngeal, the vagus, the accessory, and the hypoglossal nerve. Let's start highlighting a few structures here, starting with this that you see now on the screen, highlighted in green. We're seeing one cranial nerve, the glossopharyngeal nerve, which is the ninth cranial nerve. This nerve leaves the skull through the central part of the jugular foramen. It provides sensory information from the skin of the external ear, the internal surface of the tympanic membrane, the upper pharynx, and also the posterior one-third of the tongue. It also provides voluntary control of the stylopharyngeus muscle, which elevates the pharynx during swallowing and speech. Next structures, we're going to be highlighting one on each side. And right now, we just turn the image to show the interior view of the neck, as you can see here. You still see uh, the larynx, the hyoid bone, and the different muscles, especially scalene muscles and other blood vessels, as you can see from an interior view, where we can highlight and you can see clearly then the two vagus nerves. They're well known as the tend cranial nerves. These nerves extend through the jugular foramen and then pass into the carotid sheet between uh, the internal carotid artery and the internal jugular vein down to the neck, chest, and then abdomen, where it contributes to the innervation of the different organs. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.